Hi guys, how are we going? Welcome back, my name is Rodin and today we're looking at doing a bit of brickwork. We're going to fill in some insulation and hopefully make a start on the chimney stack. So let's jump up on a scaffolding and show you what we're talking about. So as we're up here, you can see I've got a load of bricks all set out here. These are just up here bracing this block wall. Well, we had some stormy weather the other day and I didn't want that falling over because we've got the steel beams up here sitting on this wall so the last thing I wanted was this wall to come down so I braced it either side just in case. So we're going to take these bracings off and we are going to get some of this insulation up here, this stuff down here and we're going to put that against the wall here in between these these um, wall ties. I'm going to build this section from here up to about here and then back down again and then over on this section I'm going to build up to about here and then back down again. Have a line on this end, have a line on that end, run it through so we can run all this in and as we build the centre up I'm going to build the chimney stack up as well. The first thing we need to do is we need to get that insulation and get it up against this wall ready so we can start laying some bricks. <laughs> insulation tucked in between the wall ties so this little bit here I'm going to uh, cut in a little bit afterwards because we got where I put the plate and we've got the joist in it's just a little bit different so I'll cut that size in later so what you do is you get you just wedge it in there and you use these insulation tags insulation buttons um, got all sorts of names and all you do is you pop it uh, on like that there's a little groove in it. See so yeah, this little groove here and the tie just fits in those little holes there. So imagine that there's going to be a bit more insulation there. It just holds it all in place. And you just go around and just stick these on every single... Sometimes they can be a bit tricky, especially doing it one-handed. And doing it like that keeps it nice and tight against the wall because you want it as tight against the walls you can possibly get it so you have that 50 mil gap here so what we're going to do now is i'm going to go along the section where i'm going to build this end up so i can just run it in so i'm going to stack a few more of these um these boards up i'll put these little cuts in here and then uh get some muck up on the go and get a few bricks laid and get these corners right well, say corners these ends built up nice and high so we can just run the middle in and uh, get that chimney stuff done as well We've got some bricks, we've got some muck, got the insulation against the wall, we're good to go. Let's have some bricks. chimney stack out for the time being and also I've done 
whatever I could in the past day and a half, sort of, with all getting materials and whatnot. Basically, I'm going on holiday. I'm going to Costa Rica in a uh, day or so. I'm going to try and finish that when I come back. So I'll squish it all together in one episode. So you're going to see me in a few seconds, but for me, it's going to be like two and a bit weeks. So what I'll do is I'll quickly fast forward you straight forward two and a half weeks and we'll get cracking straight back on with that chimney stack and hopefully get that all finished as I'm not worried about it getting it too far up but as long as we get that stack finished and then we're good to go for the roofer to come in and do it. So what I'll do is I'll quickly fast forward you guys two weeks. You ready? Just come back from a beautiful holiday in Costa Rica. I took plenty of video while I was out there and I'm going to edit that all together. Now by the time this one's gone out I will either link the the video in the description and put a card up here somewhere or it will be coming very soon so that's that right so what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to my gopro we're going to go up onto the scaffold i'm going to show you uh what we're looking at with this chimney stack and we're going to get cracking on with it so let's get straight over to it so what we're going to do is as you can see i've built this section here up that section all through here because before it was at this level oh yeah i built this section up as well so as you can see in here i've stepped everything this way a fraction so as you look down there's only that little slither there because the idea is to have the inside of the, the fireplace go up and then from this section come up here so from here we need to put the flue on top like that and that will go straight up out the roof and then around it we are going to build a nine inch pier roughly the size of this going all the way around in that section so that whole thing that whole thing is going straight up like that and at the bottom at the bottom here i'm going to to the in coming up to about here so that these two sides will chamfer in at that sort of angle and then we'll have some tiles on the top of that to cover that off. So if any rain falls on it, it comes straight off the side. So I'm going to tooth these out, sort of a few courses out, and bring them up to about here. I might have to cut these few bricks off for the angle. But I'm, in fact, I might lift it up one course so I don't have to cut that. So they'll come up to about here. So the first thing we want to do is we'll put this on where it is, level it up, and then flaunch all around it so that the, uh, no smoke comes 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 out here of here and then these bricks we'll build build up i'll probably say we'll build this whole section up to the top of here tooving these out and then we will rack this back and then build that straight up right okay so uh without further ado let's uh, jump straight into it
Right, so it's been a few days and we're back at the chimney stack. It's uh, progressed quite a bit on more since last time. Come up to the same height as um, this insulation going through on behind of this. And down the chimney, that is what it looks like. I've had to connect each of these um, flues together with some of this. It is a uh, fireproof mortar, basically you squeeze it out along these little ridges along here and you put one of these straight on top of it. As you can see you've got these little ridges in here and they go on the bottom, you've got little indents through here. So with that muck on there, by the time that they go together it provides a nice airtight seal so no smoke comes through. So all of it comes straight up through there. So that's what we've been looking at and I've come to this point here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to um, jump straight into the next episode with what we're going to do in the next episode is I'm going to be showing you how to run brickwork into a line. So as you can see this section here I've built up this corner and I've built up the bit that connects to the chimney stack over there. So I'm just going to finish this episode here and the next one's going to be straight into running in to a line. So we'll put a line up and I'll show you how to run in bricks to the line and then from there I'll probably leave it at that for this side and I'll come back to you once this whole thing's done. So in fact what I'll do, yeah, that'll be the next episode but for you guys in a minute I'm going to come back and the whole thing's going to be done. Or I say completely done, it's going to be majoritarily done because the roof's not in yet so I can't cut these edges in. So I'll have it probably a little bit lower than that block up there because I'm going to have a, a bit of a, a decorative edge going all the way around it. So I'll leave it a couple of courses down but I'll come back to you when that's all done show you what it looks like. Right, this side is almost done. This level here is where the, uh, the scaffold is going to be. The chimney stack is finished relatively close to where the scaffold is going to be. So once the scaffolding is up, they put the roof in. I'm going to finish cutting this section up to the underside of where the roof is. So for the time being, I'm leaving that as is. There's a couple of spots in it I'm not very happy with, like this greyish looking spot here in the jointing and also this greyish spot here in the jointing. Now, when I was laying those few bricks, it absolutely hammered it down with rain and I didn't get a chance to rub it up properly. So I covered everything and I rubbed it up as best I could in the pissing rain. So this is what happens when you rub up brickwork in the rain it goes a different colour so I'm not terribly happy with that but it will work its way out eventually but apart from that I'm happy with the whole thing so yeah, it's looking, looking quite good there you can see the, the end of the two steel beams there yeah very nice